Hey guys, so here we are. I have my my touch 4G which um <clears throat> a couple of hours ago I actually just flashed it. I got tired of waiting for gingerbread to come along uh with the over the air update from T-Mobile. And all the extra bloatware that comes with it. So, I decided to do some extensive research and uh find some comfort with the cyanogen mod and um, I actually found online the 7.1.0 RC and decided to give that and give that a try uh, it, it freaked me out using the the software to get it all flashed and stuff but the the guide for for the most part was pretty thorough so I'll go ahead, I, I turned it off to show you how it boots up from the beginning with the flash and running cyanogen. See, it still shows the splash screen from T-Mobile. I think I read online that there's a way to modify that, but I'll save that for later. But we can see how well it boots up here. Yeah. See? Uh, yep. So, wow, that's booting up. Um, yeah, I... Uh, wow, well, that, that was actually quicker than I expected. Um, it did lose the Sense user interface that came pre-installed. But you know what? I really didn't care for that damn thing anyway. Let's see. I have some of my widgets set up here. And of course, you know, it has the stock music player and this basic stuff. But the, the big difference I notice is the quick access keys up at the top. It's the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, GPS, and then you can toggle between sound and vibrate which is nice cuz then you don't have to turn this damn thing down all the way all the time when you go into conferences or whatever and you can't really tell on here let me see if I can zoom no it doesn't work with this camera sorry um, I with the the mod that comes with cyanogen you can actually change the clock so like it just displays like right now it's 1109 and then change the battery to a percentage so you don't have that that damn battery indicator where you're where it's like a guessing game it actually tells you it like right now I mean I'm, I've been using this thing like crazy and it's still at 55 percent and it has like a little battery indicator next to it which is nice and then of course it has the um, the typical Wi-Fi and data or um, cellular signal and let me see if I turn off if I turn off the Wi-Fi of course my thumbs big here hello yeah there we go oh, I wish you guys could see this um, the difference between this and the the stock that comes with the, the MyTouch 4G is like when you're in 3G it actually shows a 3G and then when you're in 4G it shows an H which is nice because with the stock it was like a guessing game trying to figure out which well which one am I using am I using 3G or 4G and then of course it has the, the edge when you're on the edge but I rarely see that and let me see I'm gonna go ahead and turn my Wi-Fi back on here um, but yeah, I mean, like, messaging, it's the standard messaging, and let's see what else. It's got the, the drawer, the AW drawer, which is nice. I mean, it, it's a little more fancy. Oh, and there's a, there's a man, there's a sound manager in here, and then you can customize it for, like, your headset, your Bluetooth, 
and you can actually have like these different sound profiles which is freaking awesome because um, then you can modify like the bass line and the treble and things like that whereas before it was kind of you gotta you gotta just take it for what it's worth uh, let me see and then to show that it really is running the latest version about let's see Android oop, 2.34 is what it is so but yeah and I, I was amazed it it installed it without a problem and I hesitated I really did I was freaking out <laughs> so but uh yeah, let's see here. Uh, other than that, everything else looks pretty standard. But yeah, you do have the new options in here. The AW Launcher, Cyanogen Mod Settings. You can come in here and customize all this stuff. Which is really neat. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, and, and the one thing that I did miss about the stock was Swipe. And they, on Cyanogen's website, they said to go sign up for the beta Swipe. So I did, and then I was able to get the download link and download it on here. Which is nice, because it, it's actually better than the original Swipe that came with the phone pre-installed. And, let me see you can see it. I mean the the keys are a little bit bigger and then when you it has an option I I really don't know if the uh, original for Froyo had this or not but like when you swipe a word it gives you options to choose from and I really like that because I remember like, sometimes it would pick the wrong word, and then I'd have to go back and do it again. And then it would give me a list, but now it just gives me a list just to play it on the safe side. And that's a uh, Swipe Beta 3.0, which you can just download for free once you uh, give them your email address. <clears throat> so, but yeah, that's about it. Um, let me make sure I covered everything. But yeah, it, my Touch 4G running 7.1.0 RC seems pretty stable and it's the the gingerbread 2.3.4 so love it if you guys were thinking about doing it go ahead and do it and just follow the guide so oh oh yeah and I wanted to show you this this is freaking awesome the animation the rocks <laughs> and and they they were nice enough to um include in the package they did include the my account my device from T-Mobile and then of course the Wi-Fi calling so the the only thing that I did notice was some of my contacts in my address book yeah, the address book obviously changes a little bit because it loses the HTC format. But it does sync up with uh, Gmail. Let's see. It does sync up with your Gmail and your Facebook. But as far as syncing up with your T-Mobile account, it, it doesn't have that option anymore. I mean, I went on to the marketplace where T-Mobile did upload the, the software to download. But it says it only works for the Vibrant, the Samsung Vibrant for the time being. And I've other people have tried it on various different phones like the MyTouch and the G2 and it doesn't work. So hopefully they'll fix that. Otherwise for the time being I'm just going to have to log on to my T-Mobile account and hand type them in. Which is fine because I prefer them on my Gmail account anyway. But yep, yeah, there you have it. So hope you enjoyed it.